I would do to change um, the world. I think representation is a very important idea that we need to encourage people to uh, believe in themselves and put themselves out there and um, have this kind of diversity of voices that can um, benefit the future and the changes we make in the world. I think just making it clear that the, we, all, we all want a safer world to live in and if we make an effort to all help each other out and just like protest, even though there shouldn't have to be protest for it, protest for it because that's a powerful thing to do. For me, myself, I wouldn't really consider myself, well, <laughs> consider myself, you know, conforming to gender norms because I'm a woman who's like interested in STEM and really interested in doing engineering, which is a very male dominated career. I really have to be, you know, focused and like headstrong and make sure that, you know, I'm not undermined and underestimated. But as a society, I think that parents should be more open to gender equal living, I guess. A lot of people, when they have their kids, they want to focus on girls having specific things, guys having specific things. I think I would say that the key way to create a more gender equal world would be through education because it's just there's so, so much misinformation with such easy access to the internet and technology that I think there needs to be education from a young age to just show people what's going on not only where they are but around the world because there's so many countries where women suffer so much not having equal rights. A person in my role, I need to be told if, people, if things aren't right, I need to be reactive. But I just make sure that everything I do isn't, um, isn't biased. I think that from my background being in sports, that from what I've encountered, there's a lot of self-deprecation when they think that potentially young women can't think that they can do something or they think oh we're, we're not as good as others but equally we we all learn in the same way mm, from a sports background as well um, I think um, better initiatives could be done most of the sports that we do we share the sports and I thought maybe putting um, launching better new marketing ideas where the ladies could be forward the two things I think the world needs to do and I certainly will be trying to do um, in order to improve feminism and kind of make this world more feminist is listening and learning. I think that representation is key. So I come from a background of a lot of sport and, and football and really having the opportunity to look up at role models and, and women who are doing things which um, previously would be only like dominated by men was, was very important in my development. But also being able to, um, to to kind of reverse stereotypes around uh, around women and what they can and can't do, I think that's that's very key. It, it's imperative that it is done from a young age that when they are surrounded by so many influences, that if they can grow up believing that anything is possible, then they can share that confidence in anything that they hope to achieve later on in life. I think feminism is important because it's about having the right to argue for equal rights but also the duty to do it it can be something that forges a better community and a better situation for younger girls for listening just making sure that we all keep our minds open and we create a platform for anyone to raise their voice and then that we are able to learn from that and incorporate everyone's needs into a better more feminist society if people feel that they cannot do things or they cannot access things or they cannot be seen as equal by the eyes of others then someone like me needs to know about it. I think it's a privilege to be a woman um, especially because the place we're at in society you have the power to inspire so many young girls by you know excelling in academics or the arts or anything. Um, For instance I saw this um, magazine and it said that a lot of girls at their age they're like entitled to looking at, you know, wearing makeup and dressing and looking pretty, but then guys, it's more focused on, you know, what they want to do in their career, like engineering. That's where girls are, um, like, pushed into that idealism that they should be doing that in the future instead of exploring other options in STEM. So for me, a more gender equal world is, is almost to rise above gender, almost to transcend gender, 
and treat people as individual humans. So I'm not saying that you cannot identify with whatever gender, it's just more a case of not to look at someone and think and assume that you know how they're going to behave, how they're going to think, what their reaction is, and then almost pigeonhole them and just put them in that little straitjacket or box and just let them through their actions and behavior reveal who they are. That would change the whole concept of what is sports all about. So I think it's sports for all. In English, um, we, in GCSC, we had quite a few um, uh, male author dominated texts, and it was um, a nice, a really nice change in IB uh, English to be studying both female authors but also um, very openly feminist authors uh, like Audre Lorde, who I found incredibly inspiring. And the way that I can do that in my subjects is to actually raise the stereotypes and then understand why they, those stereotypes are there, how they hold people back, and then think of ways that actually overcome them. Well, I think that the best way to go about it would just be taking away the stigma of the word feminism. If you go to a group of males or a group of guys anywhere and you ask them, are you all feminists? And they say, oh, what's a feminist? And you just say someone who wants equal rights. They, they, see, they still see a stigma around that word and they need to be taught that that's, that's not what it is. It's just about creating an equal world for everyone else. Would you call yourself a feminist? Of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Maybe. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> definitely. I am a raving feminist. Yeah. I, I think that anyone who isn't, I just don't understand where their place is in society, to be honest. If I start, I'll go on. For me, being a feminist is not just about um, believing in the values of feminism, but it's also about being able to interact with um, the literature that's been produced on feminism and this idea that um, fem feminism and its ideas continues to be a dialogue between the present, the experiences of female generations in the present and those of the past. What feminism means to me in its most basic sense is just equality and creating an equal opportunity for everyone to grow into whoever they want to be. And a vital factor of this is intersectionality. Um, to me it's, it's simple, it's, it's just everyone should be equal at some point. It's just removing all the stereotypes and being um, at one. Feminism is just really important to me as a woman, you know. Um, I think a lot of people think that feminism is somehow by increasing the rights of women, decreasing the rights of others, and that's not it at all. It's just creating equality for everyone and ensuring that people have access to everything they need and there's no wage gaps and things. People have an equal chance. We are equal at the end of the day. Like, women can do the same thing as men. It doesn't matter. Women's rights is the space and the um, capacity to be able to make your own decisions and feel like you're supported while doing that. All genders can be, um, it can empower women. I often try to uh, say to my students, I'm probably the biggest feminist in the room. Sometimes students look at me, males and females, and say I cannot be a feminist because I'm a man and I have no problem in fighting for gender equality equal opportunities, not necessarily equal outcomes because unfortunately people are different and different abilities, but at least to give people the chance to express themselves, who they are, without having the sort of straitjacket and confinement. We shouldn't live in a world where women are afraid to go out and are afraid to do certain things because of what will happen to them, because this is really just not fair and it's, it, it feels like common sense to me that everyone should be equal, everyone should have the same sort of opportunities. Because I understand that there are many different approaches, many different ideologies behind it, but for me, I think feminism is just creating a balance. We are all the same and we all deserve equal opportunities, equal rights. Well, it's, it's all about opportunity and doing the best, uh, doing what I want to do and, and doing that to the best of my extent. You have to kind of prove yourself that that allows you to show who you really are and show your strength. We're working towards a kind of a world where actually what gender you are literally isn't an issue. It's just your humanity being considered equal no matter what they are. So I just like all these people who want to be young and rebellious, let's rebel from these gender stereotypes. <laughs>